Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into this plant. Now this plant is actually called a dumb cane or Defenbachia. And it's a common house plant you can buy at most garden centres. But I've noticed over the past few months that this plant has a particular sensitivity to electromagnetic interference and deforms in electromagnetic interference fields. So we're going to do an experiment that is going to verify the quality of lighting using these plants. And uh, we have three lighting products. This one here is a sodium street light, very typical of what you'll find in street lighting applications. And this plant right here is going to be illuminated by the street light. This plant right here is going to be illuminated by this LED light bulb. And this plant here is going to be illuminated by this compact fluorescent. And it's going to take a few months to get the results. So I will do another video once this experiment is completed and show you what happens to these plants when they're grown under these particular lighting products. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if you look at this particular plant, it's the same variety. But look at the size of the leaf in comparison to my hand compared to what it should be. These leaves are normally the entire size of your hand. And this one is very deformed and some of its leaves are very glossy and uh, it's losing the patterning that is typical of the dumb cane. And this one right here, I have a, actually have it wrapped up in foil because I'm running another test on it regarding cell phone radiation. You can see that it's already deformed. This deformed in a radio wave field that was produced by my 32 inch LCD TV. So uh, I'm in the process of seeing whether I can actually get the growth pattern to go back to this. So this, you've seen the reason why I'm doing this experiment. So the, the whole purpose of this experiment is to verify how the quality of light is compared to daylight. And I have some control plants of these around the house just growing in natural window light. And uh, they are going to be used to verify the growth defects in these particular plants. So that's my latest experiment. I thought I would share it with you and as soon as I get the results in a few months I will post another YouTube. Thank you.